today we are in Bordeaux, a city in the southwest of France. Bordeaux's name is synonymous with uh, good wine. So, of course, we are going to visit the wine museum, uh, Le Cité, Cité du Vin. Uh, but there is so much more to uh, Bordeaux than uh, just wine. Uh, so, we are going to walk around its uh, 18th century uh, very well preserved uh, city center, which is now part of uh, the UNESCO World Heritage List. And uh, on top of that, we are going to visit a few museums, uh, parks, try some canelé, and in general, just try to, to have a good time. Uh, so, let's go. Bordeaux has really interesting history, uh, for example, Romans made it a major trading port when they ruled here. It is actually the oldest trading port in France after Marseille. Because the English ruled Bordeaux as part of Aquitaine for almost 300 years, it got unique trading privileges, most importantly in wine. Its economic growth was also helped a lot by its proximity to the Atlantic Ocean. The English control of Aquitaine, as well as some other parts of what is now France, eventually led to the Hundred Year War. When the French retook the city in the 15th century, the wine trade collapsed and the local economy remained depressed until the maritime trade resumed, this time with a new world. In time, wine trade regained its importance and it now accounts for a significant part of the local economy. But Bordeaux is also an important manufacturing center with a strong high-tech sector including the development of laser and plasma technologies. This is also where Airbus cockpits are produced. The city center of Bordeaux is really beautiful, but it is actually not that old. It mostly dates from the 18th century, when there was a massive urban renewal program, and the city was rebuilt in the classical style. So, the buildings from that period are really well preserved, and the city also looks quite uniform, in a good way. For example, there are hardly any tall buildings in the city center, both because of the city was planned and also because of the relatively soft limestone soil. In fact, it has the greatest number of historical buildings of any city in France. This has helped it earn a UNESCO World Heritage Site designation.
Another interesting fact is that Haussmann, uh, the great city planner of Paris, was so impressed with the regeneration of Bordeaux that he used it as an example when he started his work in modernizing Paris. He had actually been a prefect in the Bordeaux area, so it is not really surprising that he used Bordeaux as a model for Paris. This gate was built at the end of the 15th century to uh, mark uh, the fact that Aquitaine has joined uh, uh, the French kingdom and uh, it was built in honor of the French king Charles VIII uh, who just returned from the war in Italy. Uh, behind me is Cross Cloche, uh, another defensive uh, uh, gate in the city of Bordeaux. And actually it was built uh, uh, on top of the original gate which was added uh, to the city in the uh, 16th century, uh, when England was still ruling in Aquitaine.
Did you know that Bordeaux has uh, the largest number of preserved historical buildings uh, in France after Paris? And a really nice way to see them is to cross uh, the river on the other side uh, to the Bastide uh, district and take a look at the uh, city center from here. To summarize, Bordeaux is definitely worth visiting. There is lots to see in Bordeaux itself, but it is also an important hub for many other activities in the nearby regions, including what we showed in Saint Emilion and Dune de Pilat. Bordeaux can also be very easily reached from Paris. Even though the two cities are almost 600 kilometers away, it only takes about two hours of fast train travel. Thank you.